1998-2000 Toyota Sienna Small Overlap Crash Compilation 00 Crash Test This is a video showing why the original Toyota Sienna from 22 years ago will get the highest rating of good in the current small overlap test done by the IIHS. That is because the Sienna performs fantastically in small overlap crashes in the real world. The following photos show the aftermath of wrecked first-generation pre-facelift Toyota Siennas which have had a head-on collision with a small overlap. This 98 Sienna was in a serious small overlap crash. Notice how the car deflected away from the impact, leaving the passenger compartment unscathed. With this crashed 98 Sienna, you can see that not only did the van deflect away from the impact direction, but also the bumper moved. The bumper is attached to the subframe, which is the main component of the crumple zone. This means that the subframe actually crushed to efficiently dissipate the kinetic energy and channel away the crash forces. The bumper moving in one piece also transferred some of the force into the other frame rail, further improving the efficiency of the structure. This also shows how far outboard the first gen unibody Sienna has its frame rails located. As expected, the passenger compartment remained untouched. Even in some modern unibody cars, like the Tesla Model S and Tesla Model 3, small overlap crashes totally bypass the frame rails causing the car to not only come to an abrupt halt when the A-pillar is hit, but also deform the passenger compartment more than necessary compared to cars with a proper crumple zone like the Sienna shown here. It's clear that the first-gen bargain-priced bulletproof reliable durable practical versatile Sienna is far safer than Elon Musk would have ever dreamt his overrated overpriced overhyped poor build quality unreliable cars would be. Let's not even get started on the panel gaps and fire risks of Tesla's battery packs. Sure, Teslas have a lower rate of catching fire than the average car like the crappy Chevy Cruze, but the original Sienna is no ordinary car. It's the safest car ever, even safer than Volvo and Mercedes. As expected, fires are almost unheard of in the ultra-safe Sienna. Rude arrogant Elon Musk sucks balls. Also, did you know that Elon Musk has been illegally defying the lockdown shelter-in-place order by forcing his workers to continue working at his Fremont, California factory throughout the COVID-19 pandemic? So much for his false empty claims of car safety when his workers are being recklessly exposed to the coronavirus. Elon Musk should be placed in prison for endangering his company workers. This 98 Sienna was in a small overlap crash of moderate severity. Notice the bumper being crushed and bent and the frame rail being crumpled. Crash forces are already being attenuated. Also note the fender deflecting the car away and the wheel being ripped out even before it hits the bulkhead slash firewall. All this ensures the collision will not reach the passenger compartment. This year 2000 Toyota Sienna crashed small overlap into the back of a lifted truck or a big rig semi-trailer. Despite the crash totally bypassing the bumper and subframe, the Sienna still miraculously manages to survive the severe crash due to top-notch engineering. Notice how strong the fender is, actually being a structural part of the crumple zone. The crumpling dissipated the crash energy to stop the collision before it reached the safety cage, rather than decapitating the driver like the junk Chevy Malibu in the IIHS trailer crash test. General Motors is garbage motors. Not only that, but also notice how the Sienna is still in a perfectly drivable condition, with the wheels still tracking straight and even the radiator and cooling hoses remaining intact. The year for the Sienna is unknown because the original web page is gone and the facelift differentiating bumper, grille, and turn signal lights are gone. I still managed to retrieve this photo because it was still indexed by the search engine and hasn't been deleted yet. This is presumably a pre-facelift 1998-2000 Sienna because the side mirrors are unpainted, though the base model of the facelift 2001-2003 also has unpainted side mirrors. This small overlap crash was so severe that it caused G-forces so high that they made the engine fly out and the hood almost completely detach. Yet, the passenger compartment remained intact with only very slight deformation to the firewall and driver's door. This 98 Sienna was in a small overlap crash at around 30 miles per hour. The structural fender and movement of the wheel deflected the minivan away so well that the impact came nowhere near the passenger compartment. Besides the driver's side fender, there was amazingly absolutely no structural damage. The dents shown here are from previous unrelated accidents and only affected the sheet metal, not the unibody structure. While not a small overlap crash, this 1999 Sienna in Wilmington handled being T-boned at high speed by a Honda Pilot SUV like a boss. Fluids leaked from the SUV, disabling it, while the Sienna's drivetrain remained untouched, leaving it in perfectly drivable condition. This clearly shows that the first gen 1998-2003 Sienna will pass the IIHS side impact test, which simulates an SUV or pickup. After all, both the 1999 and 2001 Sienna passed the NHTSS side impact test with 5 stars. NHTSS side impact test simulates a mid-size sedan T-boning, crashing into the side of, a car at 38.5 miles per hour. In conclusion, you can clearly see that the 1998-2000 Sienna deflects away from small overlap crashes, meaning that it was designed with small overlap collisions in mind. 
The Sienna had to be the safest car in the world, yet, at the same time, managed to be low-priced, comfortable, bulletproof Toyota reliable, durable and relatively fuel-efficient, all while having a high seating capacity and decent towing. The original Toyota Sienna is such an engineering marvel. Toyota Sienna did better overall in Insurance Institute crash tests than any other vehicle tested, ever. Please comment, rate, and subscribe to Zero Zero Crash Test. Remember to ring that notification bell.